Welcome to episode number 10 of our series Cost Management How to Build Your Financial Model. Today will be the first part of discussion an important topic Customer Profitability Analysis. So let's start quickly. The Customer Profitability Analysis is the second application of the ABM or the Activity Based Management where the overheads Expenses are allocated to customers by using activity-based management processes that to obtain a more accurate analysis of the profit or loss generated by each customer. Not all the total customer part generated by each customer. There are a lot of standard or templates report can be used for the customer profitability analysis. Let's start with the standard template that used by many organizations, or you can say that it is a common report used by most of the organization. As you see, I have divided the customer activity based on the business area. Also, you can be classified by the customer segments or the customer's group. There is an amazing article by Asif Masani, 10 Unique Ways to Analyze Data. In his article, Asif stated that customer segmentation is the process of dividing customers into groups based on common characteristics, so companies can market to each group effectively and appropriately. Let us start with the standard template. I will try to discuss the main concepts behind this report and I will not go into the details because I need this video short as possible. I don't want to waste our time. So, the first section about the customer activity, how many customers at the beginning of the period, then how many new customers added and how many lost or terminated. Finally, how many active customers at the end of the period or the year? For the section of added and lost, I have used customer number format as you see. To be clear and easy to be understood, to be understand. I will try to make another episode for the customer number format. But now you can back again to the worksheet that you can receive for free to know how I have applied this custom number format. The second section for the custom profitability analysis itself start by classific classifying the total revenues based on the business area. The business area or the segment, okay? Then the percentage of each business area in total revenue. I have used the conditional formatting of icon sets. You can watch episode number one for the dynamic shapes and formatting effects if you want uh, more details about how to use this formatting effects. Then allocating the direct customer costs or the ongoing service and support cost to each customer's business area to obtain a more accurate analysis of the profit or loss generated by each customer again by each customer finally the gross profit margin from each segment and the weighting weighted percentage as per total of the gross margin again using special formatting effects. Now, the most important section of the analysis is to determine which customer to keep and which customer to consider cutting out. As per advised by James Rimmer, you should look at your loss-marking customers and loss-making products, but be careful the choices you make as we all know how we allocate overheads can greatly change the profit of a product slash customer. 
In this section, we need to carefully allocate the costs of customers acquisition, marketing, and the customer termination. I will try to arrange a free workshop on the Zoom meeting to discuss all these concepts and analysis in detail. Again, it will be for free, but now I don't want to waste our time. Now we can get the final classification of customer profit by business area and sure the weighted percentage, percentage as per net profit. The final section of the standard or common report is the summary metrics. The average cost per acquired customer can be calculated by the following formula. Type if cell B4 equal zero, which mean no added or no new customer, then let the cost equal zero. In other words, you ask the Excel function to set the result zero if found no added customer. Otherwise, otherwise divide, you ask the Excel function to divide cell B19 of the customer acquisition costs by customers added during the period. Do the same for the average cost per terminated customer and for the average marketing cost per active customer. Finally, the average profit or loss per customer we calculated in order to rank the most profitable customer segments. To do that, type equal rank, then select cell B30, then select the range from B30 to G30. And don't forget to press F4. Now copy and the best for the other cells. There are a lot of customer profitability analysis reports that you can customize it based on your company requirements. You can also do like me by applying the Barito principle and the chart that also called the 80-20 rule for your analysis. I would recommend you read the following report by Anders. In his post about managing customer profitability, Anders stated that, Did you know that 80% of your profits come from only 20% of your customers? Also, Anders added that, Revenue by customer is easy but how do you allocate the costs? And finally, he suggested some actions to improve profitability. Now, my favorite or customized report that revenue to me. Now, I will try to show you one of my customized reports that I have prepared to fit special requirements that regularly ask it from me. In rule 2, tail 7, there are a summary about the organization active sold products, then rank it based on its contribution margin. From rule 10, let, let us start our customer profitability analysis based on 14 customers as a sample. In column C, I built my revenue calculation based on the unit price of each product multiplied by the quantity sold from each product to each customer. You will find the same quantity sold was multiplied by the variable cost in column D to calculate the total variable cost of the product sold to each customer. The units that then the contribution margin is the net result. Now, the most important section of the calculation, it's about the allocation of the direct cost related to each customer. The marketing and distribution costs 
that will vary from customer to another, sure. For example, the delivery costs and the discounts for each customer will be vary, sure. In column G, the financing costs related to the credit granted to each customer. As you know, as you may know, there is a cash customer and a credit customer. The zero sales could mean a cash-based customer. So sure, it is your gold customer. The cash customer is your gold customer that you should keep it. In column H, the fixed cost was allocated based on the final output or the total quantity sold to each customer. I have calculated by multiplying the total fixed costs by the total quantity sold for each customer, then divided by the total quantity sold for all customers. As you see, I have hide the quantity in column A to avoid too noisy data presentation. Also because in practice, this data could be linked from another sheet in the same file. So no need to put a lot of data. Okay. Finally, in column I, the EBIT or the earning before interest and tax. The EBIT calculation was by deducting the total costs from the, from the contribution margin. And you can do the same as I did by adding column G for calculating the EBIT for each customer as a percentage of total EBIT. In column L2O, I have added common size CBA or common size customer profitability analysis that could be similar to the common size B and L analysis. Do you know it? Don't worry. There is a lot of episodes about this. By calculating each element as a percentage to the total revenue, the contribution, the other direct costs related to each customer, and the EBIT for each customer as a percentage to the total revenue from the same customer. Take care. The EBIT percentage in column O, not the same the EBIT percentage in column I. Do you notice that? Finally, you can add column to rank the customer based on the EBIT resulting from each customer. At first look, you might think that the three unprofitable customers should be dropped. For example, to drop the customer Orange Pro, Seven Mom, and Lovely. But take care. Yes, it makes sense to drop customer Orange. But the customer Seven Mom is still contributing to the coverage of fixed costs, which would have to be shifted to the other customers if Seven Mom would drop. Do you see? Also, Seven Mom is a cash based customer with no credit finance cost. Look at also at the quantity sold for Seven Mom in column A compared to the quantity sold to customer Orange Co and Lovely. Back again to James' advice. Review credit terms and charge extra for specifics like fast delivery. Don't forget this advice. It's not just about the Excel worksheet. It's important to know the advice by the experts. Okay? Finally, you can insert two charts, same as I did, or you can do three or four. It's your decision. My two charts 
one for the revenue from each customer and one for the EBIT percentage of each customer. And sure, you can use your favorite formatting. Again, today was just an introduction to the custom profitability analysis. It's not easy to make it in just one episode or two. In the upcoming episodes, I will try to show you another report and discuss in details how to prepare its related presentation. It's about storytelling. Okay? Till this moment, I would invite you to read this very important ebook by the Profitability Analysis Center. You can download it from the post by Raif Loss. Frankly speaking, I still not read it till now. I still not read this ebook till now. Because I have just found this post one day before preparing this video. But I promise I will try to read it because it's very, very, very important ebook. See you.